everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, hari ni I want to share with you guys satu psychological disorder. Ini nama dia adalah autism. So, um, autism ni basically dia adalah one of psychological disorder yang categorized under neurodevelopmental disorder. So, when we talk about neurodevelopmental, kita maksudkan adalah um, disorder yang berlaku semasa development of baby, masa pregnancy. So, for people with autism disorder, basically they are born with a certain specialty and we will talk about that later. Alright, so why did I say so? Kenapa I cakap yang they are born with a specialty? Because let's go back to the name of this disorder which is Autism Spectrum Disorder, ASD. So the word spectrum dekat situ means that it has skill. Autism ni ada skill with two extreme points. Maksudnya ada tinggi, ada rendah. Okay, so that's why we can see that some people with autism, they can function very well and some of them seems to need help from others untuk do their daily routine. Okay, and uh, for those yang berada di scale yang paling tinggi, alright, so they are known as high functioning. Uh, previously, they are known as Asperger syndrome, tapi now in DSM-5, let's say someone has autism they just simply diagnose them with ASD dah tak ada lagi dah classification macam tu alright so what are the common symptoms ataupun sign of ASD actually there are two yang common the first one is actually about social interaction ataupun communication whereby you can see that people with autism they has less or inconsistent eye contact or probably they they didn't have you know macam uh, Satu formal sentence that they can macam cakap dengan baik Okay And then uh, the second one in terms of behavior They have repetitive behavior Or they can um, you know focus on one interest only Contoh macam uh, this kind of repetitive behavior Let's say they like they love to calculate maths So um, they will be easily upset if there is changes in their routine or behavior And uh, one more thing that is um obvious for those with autism is that they are really sensitive with uh, sensory input so for example macam lampu lampu terang sangat ataupun uh, the sound of the music is too loud so they get really sensitive they might feel uncomfortable and, and they might be upset so they orang can show macam certain behavior yang probably aggressive or they can you know just show tantrum Basically, kalau nak nampak dengan lebih clear, you can watch ada satu uh, series ni, uh, tajuk dia The Good Doctor, whereby dekat situ ada seorang surgeon yang dia diagnose with uh, autism. Basically, dia adalah uh, autistic lah. Okay, but he can be a surgeon and dia can perform really well. Sebab orang yang ada autism ni, basically dia ada dia punya strength masing-masing. Which are, they can easily remember facts and details. Very details information. So, if you watch that mo that movie pula, that series, you can see that uh, nanti macam every time dia nak think of way of treating the patient, dia akan macam get, dia punya mind to get into the the whole body of the, the person. So, dia macam easily locate uh, where is actually the, let's say, the injury ataupun where is actually the blockage and everything. So, uh, in terms of that, they are really, uh, macam, very, very, very good. Alright. So, um, basically, macam, of course, macam parents uh, start to wonder, macam, uh, macam mana nak elak, macam mana nak tahu and everything. Some parents, uh, they, they receive a late diagnosis. Some some of the cases which are very rare, it, it was due to uh to misdiagnosis. But most of the time, the parents seems like oh tak pe nampak macam delay or anything. They just ignore that and they just think of oh nanti pandai lah dia belajar something like that, which is actually not okay. So um in, in sebab baby when when someone is born, kita memang kena uh kena really give a good care and kena observe dia punya development. Especially the first three years of the punya life too. So once baby to born during the first nine months too, after nine months, boleh terus pergi check up untuk dia punya uh, screening lah baby tu punya development whether or not normal ataupun tidak. Okay, and uh, to be specific untuk screening for autism. Okay, autism screening test boleh buat uh, one year and above. So lagi awal lagi bagus. 
Okay, so how to get the screening? There are a lot of private sector out there yang kita boleh buat screening and actually dekat uh, macam government hospital pun you can go and you know do the screening but usually macam uh, kan every once the baby tu dia <coughs> dia lahir dia akan go for uh, monthly punya check up kan so dari situ boleh je macam bagi tahu consult with the nurse and then let's say kalau rasa macam there is something macam pelik then go for further treatment sometimes macam we feel like macam Uh, ni overthinking ke or everything kan but it's really crucial for you to go for check up and just you know walaupun tak ada apa-apa kan just to make ourselves rasa lebih tenang uh, macam tu Thank you.